Welcome to Crystal Bridges at 10. I hope you will visit the Elemental Galleries. This is Mark Dion saying hello from the world of fire. Now we are in the space of water. So things that relate to the aquatic world all together. What I've done for Crystal Bridges is to reorganize the collection or aspects of the collection using the elements, using air, earth, water, and fire as a way to bring elements of the collection that would never see each other, wouldn't necessarily rub elbows in the same room, not only the Crystal Bridges collection, but also collections from the University of Arkansas, pulling things together that uh, are surprising juxtapositions. So for, uh, for air, I'm using obviously birds and flying insects, but also paintings and scientific representations of the Aurora Borealis. Part of why I work like this is because I get an enormous amount of pleasure from interacting with things. I learn a lot from my contact with things. Doing it remotely was a challenge, but I think we did an excellent job. I mean, we, had, we put together a great team. There was a lot of energy. Part of the excitement of coming to install myself is that I get to see things in the flesh, things that I've been thinking about and choosing and looking at on a screen images that are just a few inches by a few inches and suddenly I see them in the flesh and, and I see uh, how large they are and I can appreciate the detail and the complexity of each object. I'm trying to play with the kinds of tools we have in a gallery, in a gallery space. So, you know, that's the entrance. So I've changed the entrances, I've changed their proportions, I've changed how one transitions from one space to another. Uh, there's the lighting, which is so important in the space. I'm playing with colors of light, with intensity, with brightness, colors of the walls, in a way to give the viewer a sense of, of where I want to get which, with each of these rooms, uh, but also to maybe make make it clear that the white space is no more neutral than these very elaborate and, and quite theatrical spaces. And for this room, and, and for the room of air, I've produced special wallpapers. So in this case, uh, this is a wallpaper that features a number of jellyfish, right? And jellyfish are really interesting things to think about. You know, we have a bit of a problem with jellyfish. Jellyfish love plastic pollution, for example. They love structures like oil rigs and, and wind farms. They love it when we overfish other organisms that eat them. So uh, everything that's bad, that we're doing that's bad for the ocean is actually good for jellyfish. And so jellyfish are having this incredible population uh, explosion around the world. I'm sort of hoping that this is challenging to viewers, right? That in a sense, they're used to looking at artists who work with photography, work with a camera, or, or work with paint, or work with stone or metal. And I'm an artist who's working with other artworks and with other objects. So couldn't be more delighted as an artist to be able to do that in a sense, and to be able to make uh, meaning from creating combinations, creating these surprising juxtapositions, questioning and broadening a sense of what representation could be. So that's really my purpose behind this, is, is to create four rooms where the viewer navigates this space and maybe they are, maybe their categories of what is art and what is non-art become a little blurry. I think that one can find interest in beauty in, you know, a 19th century canteen as much as one can find interest in beauty um, in, in a Stuart Davis or an Albert Pinkham writer.